In this video, we will be looking at packaging and it is a math lit video. All right, now the emphasis here is on understanding the problem, understand the question. Unfortunately, there is no one size fits all. You need to look at the context and you need to look at the example they give you. But I have identified um, kind of two instances, right? Two different type of questions that you often see. So let's look. Normally you would have a container, right? Now this container could be um, a box or it can be a plastic container. It doesn't matter. Stuff can fit there. And then on the other side, let's say for this example, we have these little sweeties or toffees, you know, that you buy at the shop and they're so hard your teeth break. But anyway, let's say we have a few of them. I want to know how many sweets can fit into the container. And that's kind of the one, the first instance, right? The first instance is I want to know the capacity of the container. Now it's not capacity like volume. Think of it more as how many sweets. How many sweets can fit? Let me write it there. How many sweets will fit? Okay. So that's the one instance. Then they tell you, cool, now you have 500 sweets, right? And 20 per box. So 20 can fit into a box. So now you know the capacity. That's the second instance. I know the capacity of the box or the container. Now the question is, how many containers do you need for 500 suites? Okay. And this is kind of the two questions. So an example. In this, uh, in this question here, I have a bunch of these gift boxes and they want to know if there are 15 that can fit into one box, uh, how many boxes do I need? So let's read the question. And as I read, I'm going to write stuff down. So 15 gift boxes can fit into one larger box. So let me write here. 15 gift boxes can fit into one larger box. How many boxes do I need? So how many of these guys do I need? If I have 550 gift boxes. Wow. What instance is this? This is D. Uh, I know the capacity. This is the second instance. Right. I know how many can fit into one box. So this is the easier one, actually. Let's think about it. When you look at your this line here, it, it actually looks like a ratio, right? or even a fraction, looks like it could be that. And when it comes to these ratio type questions, an easy way to simple them, uh, solve them is look at how did you go from the one side to the next side? Did you divide, did you times? And what you do on the left side, you need to also do on the right side. So I'm starting with the 550 and I'm dividing it by 15 to see how I got the one side, okay? And that will also give me the other side because it's just the one. So 550 divided by 15, 36.67. And I'm working with boxes, right? So you're gonna have half a box. So you need to run off to 37 complete boxes. And there will be some space left over in the last box, but that is it. I also want to mention that you don't have to think of this as ratios if that's confusing. Ratios you learn in grade 8, grade 9, but maybe you forgot about that a little. If you just look at this question, your instinct should be to divide, okay? Because you want to know how many boxes do I need, and there's 15 per box. So you're thinking of per, you're thinking of divide. Cool. Let's look at the next instance. How many cans can fit into one box? Okay, I got here, I got my tomato cans. I'm gonna pack them. And you note that these tomato cans, this is another example, note their position. Their position is vertical. So this is an upright position, okay? Maybe 
uh, in the test, they could ask you, uh, okay, if I have the item and I change the position and this item is now lying on its side, what now? So the position is very important because now you have to work out a new length, a new height, now that's the height and a new width. So the position is really important. That's the first thing that I want to mention, okay? And also note that in different things they can, I mean, they can give you different examples. They can ask boxes like square objects or, vert or um, rectangular objects. It could be any type of object or now the can. The can is a cylinder. So big variety of things here. I've also seen in previous tests, right? They asked something similar to, um, okay, if I, um, let me just get all this out here. So they asked if I have maybe something like a delivery van and I have this box here at the back, how many uh, boxes or containers can fit, right? In that, in the back of the delivery van. Um, a similar example would be a car or let me try and draw something here. Let me try and draw a bucky. So you got a bucky and they ask you, okay, here at the back, how much space do you have for a few boxes or some things, right? Okay, I am going to try and show you a method that you can use for these types of questions. Right now the instance is instance number one. I want to know the capacity, how many suites, how many cans, how many boxes can fit. Cool. Let's go look at our example. Uh, I do want you to note one small thing. This is not drawn to scale, okay? So the box is not really that size and the cans are not really that size. We have to use mathematics. So I'm given three units. Let me write them. I'm given the length uh, of the box, I'm given the height, and I'm given the width of the box. So these three units, I'm, um, or measurements actually, I'm given because it's a 3D model, right? It's 3D. So I need to be, I need to have three units or measurements on the other side as well. Okay, so let's go and look what we have. On the side of the can, which is a cylinder, they give us the diameter is six centimeter. Now, please, the diameter is like everywhere. It's that line, so it's that distance. And that is also the length. Please note that when it comes to cylinders, the diameter is also the length in this case, right? What about the height? The height they give they give that that's ten centimeters. Cool. What about the width? Do we have anything talking about the width or the breadth? So how wide is this guy, right? From the back to the front of the can. Well, that's the same as the diameter. So that's also six centimeter. So it's like think of a circle, right? Everywhere, all over the circle, it's gonna be six centimeter. That's how wide it is, the length, everything. Now we can start with our example where they give us the length of the box, right? What is the length of the box? 60 centimeter. And they give us the length of the can. And in this case, we determined it's six. Now look at my picture. Let me try and get a few cans in here. The question is how many cans can I pack along the length uh, if this is six and six the length here? And the total is 60. Think about it. How am I going to work that out? I calculate it by dividing. And then you get an answer of 10. 60 divided by 6 is 10. Okay, now what about the height? Let's do the height of the box and the height of the can. So the height of the box is 30. The height of the can is 10 centimeter. Once again, let's try and pack these cans here. I'm actually going to fit three cans in there because 30 divided by 10 gives me three. Okay. Now, the measurement that's left is the width, the width of the box. Okay, so let's look at that. Let's look at the width of the box. Just clean this up. So the width here is given as 12 and the width of the can we, we determined to be six. And once again, you will just divide and you'll get an answer of two. So if I move my cans here, it should mean that two cans can fit there along the width, right? How is that possible? Well, if you think about it, your can here has the, radio, uh, the diameter of 6 and 6, and that gives you 
12 when you add them. So it makes sense, right? Okay, now that you have your cans and you have your um, measurements and your units, what's left is for us to say, okay, I could pack 10 cans here. Well, 10 cans along the length. And I could pack 3 cans along the height. And then along the width, I could pack 2 cans. What about the rest of the space, right? Where are all the cans there? How do I find my final answer? So think about it as rows and rows and rows on top of each other, next to each other. And that's why when I get my answers, the, the height, the length, um, the height, the length, the width, I actually multiply them. Okay, so I get my answers from here, the 2, the 3, the 10, that's how many fit. I write them in here. Uh, and then I multiply them to get an answer of 60. And this tells me how many cans can fit. So I need to think of it as a 3D model, almost like volume, right? It's quite similar here because I want to know how many cans fit. Right, that's the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, share and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.